And look who is here. It is our good friend Chuck Rennes from Rennes Greenhouse. Yes, it is a great day to grow it. And we are going to prove that, yes, you can grow just about anything this time of year. You can also have something perish just about this time of year, too, Chuck, as you brought in a plant that looked pretty sad. Well, I, I just, you know, people think I give Jackie crap all the time about killing stuff. And, right. and, and I know a lot of people think that I'm just yakking Ribbing about you. Yeah. yeah. No, she really time. does kill stuff. Mean old man. No, she. Last week I had some stuff in and I gave Jackie a little cyclamen. <laughs> One. <laughs> one week, one week, one if, week, right if, there, buddy. If plants have a post office, there's a picture of Jackie on the wall. <laughs> and, and, and I, I told that plant that it was going to have a tough life, but I thought it'd have a little more than uh, okay, so seven days. I, I think the plant committed suicide because I really, it was a gorgeous plant. All those were standing up nice and tall, and, and it was very beautiful. I, since it's been warmer than normal, yep. I had it outside, and then I brought it inside because it gets pretty cold at night. Well. My apartment complex, the heater system is turned on, so the only way you can control the temperature if you want it to be cooler is to open the windows. Poor little thing. So <laughs> I'm assuming from the heat of my apartment and the cold window air blowing on it, it gave up? Well, somewhere along the line, <clears throat> I, I should have mentioned to you that you got to water this stuff, I think. <laughs> and, and I, I, I You told me I didn't have to water it as much. Oh. No, yeah, not as much, as but much you have to water it. <laughs> you know, things, but it, it's, uh, <clears throat> that's fine. I it's, thought it froze. Can, can it be saved, doctor? Nope. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks for your uh, no, uh, in-depth well, well, analysis. And I there. feel bad nope. because it was a beautiful plant. One of the One of the reasons that I, I can, and this is just something for all you people that bring stuff back into the greenhouse that tell me just died. One of the reasons I can tell that this was too dry is because it's super wet now. So what, <laughs> so what people do is they kill it and then they water it and say, I don't know what happened, I, I watered it. <laughs> well, I'm assuming I, it froze because it, it, it happened so quick. Jason, what's the lowest temperature we've had in the last Well, year? in the city, we, we officially have not yet hit 32 degrees. Right. And, now, and, if you're out in the outlying areas, you probably right. have. But, but downtown, where you're surrounded by brick, I would say the lowest has probably been 40, 42. Okay. Well, it, it certainly but wouldn't be, I don't think like it would be 30. Literally, I, I went to bed and it was, ta-da, and it was sitting in my living room. The next morning, it was, Bwah. so I assume it committed suicide. Okie doke. All right. <laughs> but it was a beautiful plant. But that's, but see, I'm not, I'm just not um, whistling Dixie yeah. when I tell people you kill things. It really does happen. <laughs> All right. So what are we here to really talk about now? Um, Two things I wanted to kind of touch base on, then I'll visit about that point. Uh, we've had a couple different people call us this week on um, one of the questions Joyce had uh, ye yesterday. Somebody called about, uh, you know, mums and, and their uh, perennial mums and what should they be doing with their mums now. Mm. Now, um, they, they was asking how far to cut those back and what have you. Oh. Uh, again, um, in my opinion, mum shouldn't be cut back. Just leave them alone okay. uh, till spring. All just let them dry up. Just let them dry up. You're going to have all that dead stuff on there. But the nice, nice thing about that dead stuff that collects on them, it, it's a good place. You know, when the leaves will blow in there, and that kind of helps insulate it and stuff. Okay. And even though those are dead, those roots still get some um, nutrients out of that those those top leaves so that, oh, okay. that that's that's a good way to, to keep that going sure and then in the spring you'll just rake that stuff away and um I mean, I mean, my mom comes up from the roots, so you don't need that dead in the spring. So, so by the springtime, the, the actual plants themselves, the top part of the plants will be be just dead. Just dead. You just, you just push them off, rake okay. it away, pull okay. it off, and then the, it'll come up from there. Um, the other main thing is on um, mums and all your perennials again. And I, we've talked about this. Be sure there's plenty of moisture going into the winter. There's oh, got to yeah. be a lot of uh, mm. a, a lot of moisture going into the winter. I was putting bulbs in yesterday in a, in a raised bed, and it was very, very dry. Yes. Uh, it, it, we just it, haven't got a lot of rain. No. You know, I, I mean, you, you know, um, uh, and I, I've talked about this again before. I've, I'm still watering. I put in 60, 70 shrubs for a guy, and I went out and watered them again yesterday. And I have thought for the last 10 times I've watered them, I wouldn't have to water them again. But um, when we get those um, quarter inch of rains, you know, I mean, this time of year, we just don't get those big rains. Right. So when we do get a rain, it's, it, it doesn't amount to that much. And that doesn't do anything to get down 
you know, deep in the ground. So today and, should uh, be halfway decent, right? <clears throat> yeah, it should be. The problem with the, the heavy rain producing storms this afternoon is that they're going to be moving so fast, 50 or 60 they're miles an stay hour. Around. So they're not going to stick around. You know, it probably won't be a big soaker type of a day today. Well, I, I, I hope so because I had a, I, I have a semi of a soil coming in for spring that's supposed to be here about noon. <laughs> and uh, I told the guy he called from Canada when they left the other day, and I said, you know, it ain't rained for six weeks around here. Now the day, the day you want me to unload that <laughs> truck, it's going to be raining Rainy like a son of a gun. Rainy, yeah. yeah, so we'll, we'll hope that. Uh, but yeah, we're starting to get, get soil and stuff in for spring. Um, the other question we've, we've got a lot of is people have um, called and asked about covering up their strawberries. You, you oh, know, is it is yeah. it time to do that? You know, you want to do that before it gets real cold, um, but it's okay to go ahead and cover those up. The, the real reason you cover up strawberries is not so much to insulate them from the cold, because strawberries are extremely hardy, but what you want to do is cover those so they're covered in the spring. Because in the spring, you know, we'll always get, um, it, it seems like we always get a couple weeks of really warm weather. So when that happens, then those strawberries start growing. And as soon as those strawberries start growing in the spring, they'll put that bloom on there. So that bloom is what makes the fruit. So if that, those strawberries start growing and they bloom, and then we get that frost, that'll knock that bloom off there, uh -huh. and then there ain't going to be no strawberries. Right. So the, the trick to the, the straw is you want to put that on and leave it on in the spring till late in the spring till we're sure we're not going to have any more frost you okay. know maybe even till you know the first of may and then you can rake that off and then when it starts growing then let them start growing th okay. then they'll if it if it does it isn't going to freeze after that and that's that's the real purpose of putting that straw on okay um the other thing i would suggest is um and it's kind of hard to find i know des moines feed uh, nature shop over on the east side has it but if you can find bean straw which is the the remnants of the soybean plants huh, really? and, and bean straw is is better because you, you know older wheat straw packs so tight and you really don't want that but if you use that bean straw it'll still insulate for you but it doesn't pack down near as tight never knew that Interesting. and it's hmm. it's it's a lot easier to uh, to uh, clean up in the spring huh. so, okay okay now Christmas time you know, it, I, when I carry this in this morning, it's hard to believe that you can carry around poinsettias and plants outside without worrying about them freezing this time of year. Because right. usually this time of year, it's, it, it's really uh, getting chilly. But this is, uh, this is a new variety. This is called uh, Shimmer Surprise. That is gorgeous. Um, there's no two leaves on these plants that are exactly the same. They're just some of the, we, we had these last year, last year it was the, f the first year for these, and we tried some last year and they was, a, they was very popular. Um, we tried this one and we tried one called Ice Punch last year that was very popular. And uh, we didn't sell many Ice Punch though, so we uh, did away with it. Now everybody wants Ice Punch, but that's the way that goes. So. <laughs> that's, usually the, that's usually the way that happens. That's just your luck, yeah. yeah but, if, but if you notice on there, um, where are we at? Here you go, just like that. Um, you, you can see the different leaves and how how some of them pattern and but but they're they're really unique and like I say every one of them is different and it's pretty neat uh, but those are those are pretty cool and and this is an early variety all the poinsettias are starting to color up now but this is uh, these are, these are the ones that are the furthest long and those are really starting to get pretty and then we got uh, so we got uh, three greenhouses full of points that are looking good um, we will go to uh, Joyce and I go when? Next Friday, a week from this Friday. We'll go up to Wisconsin a week from this Friday and get wreaths and uh, the roping and stuff, and we'll get that picked up. Then the following Friday, the or Saturday, the 21st, um, that's when the Christmas trees will be in and we'll be ready to go. So we're only a couple weeks away from uh, Pretty close. being off there and running with all that stuff. All right, so, so once again, the greenhouse. The greenhouse is closed. We will be closed. open on the 21st, which is Saturday, November 21st. We'll start being open seven days a week, uh, except for Thanksgiving, of course. And then we'll be... Uh, We'll be off and running with that stuff, so it's getting to be go time. But if people still want to submit questions or just find yep, out, just what call us or we're on Facebook and all that stuff. Give us a call and we'll uh, we'll do our best to answer them for you. Sounds good. All right, thank you, sir. You betcha.